Coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. I'm your host, Max the Animal, joined by my partner, Nikki Snacks. So, And as always, we will be giving you our best bets for this week's NFL action. Week 11. Which I'm trying is to insane. I'm trying to be upbeat here. I'm trying to be happy because uh, we had a rough week last week. I went 0 and 3. I'm not proud of it. As you can see, you know, I'm wearing the robes. When you well, I got well, when you go 0 and 3, you look like shit. But yeah. that's the original outfit. So well, this is the original. Yeah. And this was the new one. I figured I'd wear them both. I was so bad last week. Yeah. So you're gonna sweat and punish Just yourself. Double robe yeah. it. Yeah. I well, it's robe. funny. It's funny. The three weeks before that, we were a 15 three combined. We got all this hype and everything was going all so well. And I think we even stated we're probably going to go 0-6 yeah, and 1-5. should have just shut our so. f***ing mouths. Yeah. Should have, yeah. Should have just mouths. kept real winners moving silence and we just blabbered. So, karma yes. hit us in the f***ing dick, that's for that's sure. That's a good way to put it, real winners moving silence. Yeah. Maybe it's, there's another phrase for it, but I like that. Which I know what you're going There's 100% that. a different phrase yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're Real winners moving silence. All right, cut the mics. Let's give our picks in silence. That might work. That might work. We want to mime them. We'll mime our picks. All right. So, uh, rough week. I believe I'm 18 and 12 on the season. Uh, it's still pretty good. So it's very good. You're up. You're still up. That camera is so crooked. It's. I think it's all on you, which is not. I don't care. It's whatever. It's just the theme of the show. I fucked it up. This whole week's fucked up. Everything's fucked up. Fucking That's fucked actually going to be really bad. You know, like that. no, that's fine. I look it. I saw it. It's good. All right. Let's do this thing. Pick one. Washington football team at the Carolina Panthers, plus three. We're taking the football team here. It's simple. It's the Ron Rivera revenge Which game. football team? Washington football team. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good joke. Uh, you like that f-ing news segment, you know? I saw that one. That, that, looks, that looks stupid. Uh, the Ron Rivera revenge game. It's the triple RG is what we're calling it. And uh, I just really like this game. I just do because here's what, here's what happened. The, the, the football team's riding high. The Washington football team, they're riding high off that win last week. I'm riding low. I'm real f-ing down here. And they're up here. So we're going to meet somewhere in the middle. And uh, also, Ron Rivera, the revenge game, he knows Cam Newton. If Cam Newton even plays, if he's the starter, I think he will be. And if he doesn't, then it's P.J. Walker, and we're going up against a backup quarterback. So, uh, plus three, we're going to have to win the game. I love this line. I think it's a uh, lock. A lock. Uh, football team plus three. That's it. Can't how, go too in, too deep into it. How do our fake bagels have mold on them? <clears throat> it's not mold. It's like when they cut it on the assembly line. Looks like mold to me. Anyway. Doesn't it look like mold? Well, no, it's just like it's like when they cut. It's I, 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 yeah, I get it. That's what they cut, but it looks yeah, like yeah, mold. Yeah, it looks like mold. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, I figured out the reason why I I, I ruined my hot streak uh, last week, and it's because a certain team was on buy. You know, I tried to pick them, and they were on buy, and uh, they're not on buy anymore. You gonna think I'm biased? I don't really give a shit. Whatever. We're taking the Giants plus ten and a half on Monday night. I, I don't really care what you say or what you eat. You fat, disgusting slob. I shouldn't say that. You're not fat. You're very well built. You're very strong. You're a good man. However, the Tampa Bay Bucks are reeling. The football team that you were just talking about, didn't they just slap their asses last week? They just slapped their asses. Slapped them. Slapped them. They did some, slapped them. And slap I think the, the, Brown, the, the Bucks are reeling. Antonio Brown comes out today. He's got a fake Vax card. So there's drama in the building already. Vita Vey is out, which is a huge loss for them. They got no secondary. Their defense is depleted. And second of all, I guess that's like fourth of all. But anyway, fifth of all, fifth of all, the Giants should have beat the Bucks last year. We're the worst team. The Giants come back healthy. Galladay's healthy. Tony's healthy. Saquon's healthy. Andrew Thomas looks like he's going to play. That offense, last time they were all on the field together, they only put up 27 points, which for them is really good. But they put up 450 yards of offense in New Orleans against the Saints. They're going to do probably nothing similar to that, but their defense is playing really well, and I think 10.5 is a lot of points for the Bucs right now, a reeling team. Giants plus 10.5, non-biased pick. It's non-biased. That was disgusting. <laughs> you actually repulsed me. I'm a joke. This is why you went 0-3 last week. Because you're letting yourself go again. Remember we were here a few years ago? You letting yourself go. 
I'm here to help you. You got shit in your hair. I can't. I don't even want to take out. <laughs> <laughs> Go with the next pick. We got the 49ers at Maybe the Jacks. Maybe you should Jack switch the pick. 49ers at the Jacksonville Jaguars minus six and a half. And uh, we're riding high off of the Rams win from last week. The Niners beat up the Rams. Like I said, Niners are riding high. I had a bad week. I'm riding low. We're going to meet somewhere in the middle. We're going to meet somewhere in the middle. And we're going to cover this minus six and a half. Uh, Jaguars are just a bad team. Like, yeah, they're just not They're just not good. Covered, <laughs> covered last week. But it wasn't a touchdown. A touchdown is too much. A touchdown is too much. I think they were, yeah, all right, fine. Too much. They can't do that. I mean, didn't they lose by like five? No, it's too much. No, it was like, no. <laughs> Jaguars. Going to lose by a touchdown to the 49ers. My six and a half. That's all I got? Yeah. I'm actually genuinely curious real quick. I could probably quit. Remember I like the Jaguars and, uh, and I didn't take them? Oh, you're right. They lost by six on the road. That's a risky pick. Oh, so that's a nice pick, Animal. Really nice. Um, it'll probably hit. 49ers stink. So do the Jaguars. So you pick the, uh, the lesser of the two stinky. And um, which... <laughs> Leads me to my next point, Ferris. I told myself I would never take an over that has that is over 49 and a half. But you know what I'm going to do? When you go low, we go back high. I was low last week. We're going high. Over 50 in Cincinnati and Oakland, or uh, Las Vegas. I, never, I would never not say Oakland. Over 50. The Raiders are reeling. They just gave up 41 to the Chiefs. The, the, the Bengals are on a two-game losing streak when everybody thought they were like a contender in the AFC, which they never were. Too young. I think it's two quarterbacks that are going to go bing, bang, boom, left and right. They got Jamar Chase, who needs to go crazy. Who doesn't need to. He's already crazy. But he will go crazy. The Raiders' defense looks in shambles. They couldn't stop the New York Giants from running the football. They, they're not gonna, they couldn't stop the, the Kansas City Chiefs from throwing the football. The Bengals do a little bit of both. They do a little bit of both. That defense of, of Oakland or, or Las Vegas is in disarray. And I think the Bengals' defense has been wildly overrated all year. And I think Las Vegas can finally score. And I'm going to go over 50 in Vegas, too. I like that. If this was on the road in Cincy, I'd probably not take this bet. But in Vegas, I think Joe Burrow, he's just a cool cat. He's going to want to put up 30. And I think Derek Carr can put up 21. We're going over 50, Cincy and Las Vegas. Oh, I should have got a milkshake, dude. I'm sorry, I was missing from that. Should have got Tums, too. Milkshake is what I needed. Oh, dude. What? I forgot to check the email if there was any big lugs. Yeah, of course you did. <laughs> You're just so bad at this. They're probably like five. <laughs> I'm having Can you a give bad me the week. password? I'll check. I'm having a bad week. Oh, this is such a bad show. All right. Oh, I disagree. Let's We're going to go 6-0. and oh. Let's fix this show and head over to the other studio for the... Uh, Underdog uh, picks. Play of the day, whatever it's called. All right, guys. Great show you're doing today. We got the underdog play of the day available at underdogfantasy.com or download the app Underdog in the App Store. Uh, underdog Fantasy. Uh, use com- promo code BDGE. You get a 100% deposit match up to $100. It's a good deal. Uh, I got my pick. It's uh, AJ Brown, eighty-two and a half receiving yards, taking the over. They're playing the Texans. The Texans, they're not a good team. This should be a. Um, he's the only guy on the team that can catch the ball. So this should, this should be it. Yeah. So, uh, so the guys, one of the guys on the other show took Cincinnati, Las Vegas over fifty, which means there's probably gonna be a lot of passing yards. Which means you take Cincinnati's Jamar Chase over eighty-three and a half. You take the over and you run with it. Boom. All right, you heard it here first. You could bet those and you get a 3X on your money. So if you bet $1 million, you'll win $3 million. Uh, what a rush. Back back to you guys. It's fine. All right, everybody, we're back. That was a good pick. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that sound? <laughs> no. No, I didn't. Oh, uh, you sure? Yeah. I think you heard that one. Yeah. Oh, there it is again. That was the real one, though, not me. Oh, dude, I think that burger's... 
Did you see the way you ate it's it? Fleming how, about, how about this? How about this? How about this? We take the atrocity. I Should've didn't hear the had, sound. I, I didn't hear had, the sound, but I know what you're saying. Should've why don't we pick shake. it? Why don't we pick this lock up and give our big lock? How about that? Huh? Had the Here, let's go. Let's go right now. Tune the f in. Needed, Step up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I needed the milkshake. Cowboys mm. at Chiefs plus two and a half. My big lock. Uh, said it like kind of out of order, but that's <laughs> taking the Cowboys plus two and a half. <laughs> you thought I was going to be able to, to salvage this show? Not today, baby. Uh, Cowboys at Chiefs plus two and a half. Taking the Cowboys. I think they're going to win outright. I think they win this game outright. The Chiefs are frauds. They had a f***ing... Uh, you know what happened? The Chiefs are riding high. They're riding high off of that big blowout win against the Las Vegas Raiders. And I'm riding low. And we're going to meet somewhere in the middle. And the Chiefs are going to lose. Yeah, I, I Listen. That's it. Who hates, the, who hates the Cowboys more than me? Uh, you do. Who hates them more than me? <laughs> You, that's it. You're the only person that hates okay, the Cowboys. Okay, so, so, so nobody, and I really like this pick. I think the Cowboys killed them. You can parlay these. Did it. That was a good one. I did it. That was a good one. I did it. The I think I the Cowboys, that, that's, that's my favorite pick of yours. I think they killed them. Uh, I'm going, I'm going to the 12th man, where it rains, where it pours, where they drink coffee, where they do a lot of other probably weird shit, I'd assume. I don't want to get on camera and say that stuff, but... Whatever it is that they do. Seattle needs this game more than I need a new liver, and that's big. That's huge. Huge. Yeah, big. It's a big, big, big need. Big need. And they're getting points against a division <laughs> rock. We're going to take Seahawks plus one and a half. We're going to take Seahawks plus. Kyle Murray's banged up. Don't know if he's playing. DeAndre Hopkins banged up. Don't know if he's playing. Russell Wilson did not look good. Neither did Seattle last week, but you're going to expect that after a few after a month and a half off. I think Russell gets cooking again. I think the Seattle Seahawks win this game outright. But I'm getting a point and a half at home against a division opponent. You know how much this show loves home division opponent or divisional game dogs, and that's what I'm sticking to. Seattle plus one and a half. Take the money line as well because they will win. Parlay that for I think it is I think it was five eighty seven. Either way, Seattle plus one and a half, big lock, Russell Wilson cooks, Kyle Murray ducks and doesn't play. That was a bad throw. That's a, that's a Seattle bad plus one and a half, big lock of the week. Thank you so much. Bagels and locks. I don't want to hear another word big, out of his that's voice. That's a bad sign. Uh thanks for watching. Uh sorry I was off my game today. You're not off your game if you win your bets. Bagels and locks. Bagels and locks. Yeah.